Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Rose and I too will be reading from Fahrenheit 451. So the excerpt that I've chosen is when Montag is questioning his uh, fire captain about the relevance of the job that they're doing, burning books. <clears throat> this is from Captain Beatty's uh, perspective. A book is a loaded gun in the house next door. Burn it. Take the shot from the weapon. Breach man's mind. Who knows who might be the target of the well-read man? Me? I won't stomach them for a minute. And so when houses were finally fireproofed completely all over the world, there was no longer need of the firemen for the old purposes. They were given the new jobs as custodians of our peace of mind, the focus of our understandable and rightful dread of being inferior, official censors, judges, and executioners. That's you, Montag. And that's me. You must understand that our civilization is so vast that we can't have our minorities upset and stirred. Ask yourself, what do we want in this country above all? People to be happy, isn't that right? Haven't you heard it all your life? I want to be happy, people say. Well, aren't they? Don't we keep them from moving? Don't we give them fun? That's all we live for, isn't it? For pleasure, for titillation? And you must admit, our culture provides plenty of these. Colored people don't like little black Sambo. Burn it. White people don't feel good about Uncle Tom's cabin. Burn it. Someone's written a book on tobacco and cancer of the lungs. The cigarette people are weeping. Burn the book. Serenity, Montag. Peace, Montag. Take them too. Five minutes after a person is dead, he's on his way to the big flu. The incinerators serviced by helicopters all over the country. Ten minutes after death, a man's speck of black dust. Let's not quibble over individuals with memoriams. Forget them. Burn them all. Burn everything. Fire is bright and fire is clean.